Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and <laughs> I made a pretty good decision for myself, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I deleted my own Twitter account there, boyos. Yep, it's completely gone. Now you might be like, whoa, what, uh, what, what, why, why would somebody jump down and do something like that, Muda? Now there's a couple reasons for it. Uh, one of them is uh, it actually doesn't really do any benefit. We actually ran the numbers and cost benefit analysis wise, Using X was a total waste of time and actually offered no benefit to the YouTube channel whatsoever. So I want to start off by saying one of the reasons why I actually really liked using that social media platform. And it was really just A, to interact with, you know, a fan here and there, uh, you know, communicate with other YouTubers and really get on the pulse of what was going on, uh, you know, in, in the community, right? It was a great place to really get news information and really just like, you know, see things evolve. But uh, over the last, I want to say, few months, the platform has effectively become 4chan's X, ladies and gentlemen. So there's a bit of a speculation as to, oh, Muda, did you get hacked? Did you have the Chris Chan Sonaju medallion react on you? Now, I, don't, I can't speak much for black magic, but I can confirm that my 17 virtual machines have not been breached, and I have not been hacked. No, I actually went through and deactivated, and uh, I probably shouldn't be saying this. <laughs> But they're like, kill two-factor authentication. The site doesn't even tell you, oh, goodbye, you deactivated. No, we just took away a critical security feature. That's a, that's always a good sign, by the way. Real, real. <coughs> oh, that's wild. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, one of the things about, you know, using the internet is I've come across some real wild stuff. You know, there used to be a period where we actively browse a deep web every week and now the last deep web video i made was about a month ago um you know and i do a lot of tech related stuff virus stuff like i literally was like destroying my virtual machines with like crazy malware to the point where i was wiping bootloaders from windows and all the way through linux and everything it was insane i made that video like two weeks ago so from time to time i make i make these videos and uh, when it comes to the deep web stuff, like obviously I've seen wild stuff, okay? Like I've seen, I've seen wannabe red rooms. I've seen actual uh, like full on racist websites and stuff. And uh, it really felt like the last couple like months on X or Twitter or whatever the heck it is, uh, really felt like being on 4chan poll every day. You know, when you fire up your timeline and you see like, oh, this Pajit Poo in the loo, get him out of the country, boy. You know, it's like, you know, when you go out of like 4chan poll, yeah, you can laugh at it every once in a while, but when it becomes like a constant thing, it really just sucks all the energy and fun out of it. Like, dog, if I wanted to go to poll, I would just go to poll, okay? And for anybody that doesn't know what 4chan poll is, it's a containment board to basically keep all of the most insane shit on 4chan in one board. So people can use stuff like r slash TV, r slash food, r slash anime, r slash mlp without like having some fucking person come in and just say the most outlandishly wild stuff now you might be wondering oh muda why don't you just mute and block it and honestly that was something i was doing for a while but it really just became part of a thing where i don't know if it's like you just scroll by something and it counts as you technically engaging with media even if you don't want to watch it or not where it just keeps feeding you that content and it just became a thing where you fire up the app, you look at it for a second, close it, because it's like, whoa, insane. Like, a couple days ago, I saw a Sneeko post, and it's funny because, like, I, I, I don't even, like, follow him. And it's, like, it, the literal AI image of, like, two Jewish guys, okay? It had a black dude in the middle, and the black guy had his, like, you know, head removed. It was kind of like a lobotomy or something like that. But uh, the, the brain was replaced with fried chicken. And I'm like, I'm sitting there, I'm like, dude, literally, I'd see this on poll. Like, I would actually unironically see this there. And then, like, I don't follow Andrew Tate, but I'm seeing him talk about his recent arrest, okay? And it's funny because, like, you know, that's one side of the spectrum I dislike. But then you got to see, like, crazy nut jobs on, like, the hyper left side of, of Twitter who are like, man, mood of that transphobic Nazi boy. Like, I've seen people claim that I've defended Andrew Tate when I literally have videos. Like, the last video I made on Tate, probably about a year ago, we literally looked at how one of his cases involved actual grown 30-year-old men victim-shaming somebody who was a minor. Like, it's insane shit. It's insanely wild stuff. It's like nobody on that website can do any research. And when it comes to politics, one of the things that I personally find a little wild is like, 
The toxicity has gotten to the point where it's like people on the website view everyone around the world through this very American lens, right? Like as a Canadian, I don't give a shit about Kamala or Trump. I can't vote for either or, okay? It doesn't matter. <laughs> like, goddamn, bro, I live in Leafland, dog. You think I give a shit? So, you know, immediately go onto the website. Anybody, like, right of, like, Mao Zedong is, like, a fascist. And anyone left of Adolf Hitler is, like, you know, a, a, a fucking commie, okay? It's, like, no actual nuance or anything in the middle. So, it's just one of those things where getting wrapped up into the toxicity and the anger. It might be okay for some people. And I think it works for, like, a channel that's, like, you know, super politically oriented or something. Or people that are in that, I guess you could say, culture war. Because, realistically, that's kind of where the money is at for Twitter. And when it comes for money, like even having an account like mine that actually got a shit ton of engagement, like we are talking hundreds of millions of impressions a month. Uh, I remember when I was in the revenue sharing, bro, Elon was handing out $300 checks, okay? So for a lot of these accounts that are making thousands of dollars, they're posting shit like actual engagement bait, like that Sneeko, uh, you know, uh, stuff that I was talking about earlier. Or people just share random engagement bait. And if it's not engagement bait, it's just like literal porn. So you have that, you have you have nonsense political engagement bait, and there's very little actual content that I enjoy. In the last two weeks of using it, my usage of the platform pretty much dwindled to like uploading a couple screenshots from my PlayStation 4. And uh, one of the only things that I got excited about, literally, was like looking at Bloodborne. Like uh, a couple days ago, I saw this Bloodborne trend on it, and I was like, oh my god, this is actually something I'm excited about. Let's go to Bloodborne. And obviously, that's where we found out about the progress that Shad PS4 had. And then I made a video, because I was like, oh, I gotta talk about emulator stuff, especially if PS4 stuff is as good. And I was like, man, if this is the only thing this app is providing after all this time, then there really isn't any point of keeping it. Now, one of the things that I kind of use Twitter for, and a lot of platform, you know, a lot of YouTubers will use it for, is promoting videos. The problem with promoting videos on X or Twitter or whatever is that there's not really any tangible translation statistically over to YouTube. So for instance, one of the videos that I made, uh, the Opera GX video, uh, I believe I had this one posted on X uh, around the time it actually released, just because it was a landmark video, it was sponsored, and I worked on it, right? I wanted people to watch a technical analysis into, should you download a gaming web browser? Now, I shit you not, based on my actual like analytics, it seemed as if on average, I was getting more viewership somehow from msn.com <laughs> than I was getting from like X. So if I'm somehow pulling more like eyes from msn.com and you can't even post there, like I believe it probably got picked up in an article. There's more like usage probably you know spreading your videos naturally through something like reddit or specifically in like you know specialized discord communities right for emulation if you were talking about bloodborne for instance or gaming stuff when it came to the opera gx browser review so realistically it was like if you do the cost benefit analysis <coughs> using something like uh, x doesn't really give you any benefit other than are you wasting time and basically reading things that I would say aren't really good for your mental health in the long term? And honestly, I would rather be focused on, you know, making more content than I would be just spending time on that website, right? There's plenty of content to be made this weekend. I mean, literally tomorrow, right? We're going to talk about Fur Affinity and the hack that happened. I get to actually talk about something cool and actual hacking methodology like, you know, domain hijacking, which is still a very real and scary thing. And, uh, you know, it's something that I can demystify, I can explain, and even show, like, you know, some example of it happening in the real world. Um, you know, down the road, uh, you know, there's a video this weekend that I'm actually looking forward to. I got my hands on PlayStation 2 Linux. So I get to actually turn my PlayStation 2 into a desktop computer. And I probably won't be able to game on it, but I should be able to browse, like... <laughs> the web or something on a ps2 through linux insane shit um but yeah these are things that i want to do i want to look into like more of these rabbit holes like there was this one tiktoker that i was looking into where it's like just insane like again these the, these like these darker parts of the internet is something that you know i have on my uh work to do list i have on my like you know d diving list and i might as well just keep doing that instead of engaging with this platform the other big reality of it too is like, obviously it doesn't really provide a benefit, decided to leave it. 
The reason to really make this video is not to A, announce the departure at the gates, but it's also because this is something where like, you know, uh, people in the community, and this is where I'm gonna shame a little bit, you know, you should be messaging my significant other, okay? <laughs> that I've disconnected. You probably have me on like Discord. I think most of the creators, the large ones that I actively talk to, either have my Discord address or my number, and we can just continue talking through there. There's nothing really this platform provides. And I feel like if I constantly complain about Twitter or X, uh, I'd be a little bit of a hypocrite to just keep on using it, despite all of its problems. I might as well just make a stance and say, yeah, there's problems with the platform. Don't think it's worth my time. Be done with it. But obviously, one of the things is my wife was being asked about this situation. And uh, obviously, she woke up to like a shit ton of messages, which nobody should have to. Like, you should never message somebody's significant other for a fucking answer. Like, dog, you have my like phone number. You can you can just hit me up directly. I'll, I'll answer. And uh, that's pretty much what it comes down to. And uh, obviously, you know, I'm going to agree for the first time with r slash YouTube drama, the, the wildest Reddit out there. It's unhinged to contact her in any way, shape, or form regarding Muda, unless you are their friend, IRL. Yeah, I know. I, I really I really would expect that. Her husband is a huge internet celebrity that suddenly disappeared and cut contact off with people. I don't know what she expected. I think you're really stretching huge internet celebrity, boy. I'm just a fat Indian guy on the internet who likes to talk about goofy shit. That's pretty much what it comes down to. I don't understand this gassing up of anybody. Uh, I'm just a, I'm just a pretty unknown speck in the grand scheme of things. But obviously, you know, one thing that I really saw over here was everyone's making a huge deal for no reason. I'm sure you got annoyed with seeing political posts 24-7, more likely scenario. And that's true. Not just that, but obviously the, you know, obscene anti-Pajit stuff going on, insane stuff. The more scary scenario is something I've been noticing in the last four or five videos. Muda started doing a thing with his mouth when he was talking. I've noticed it only after I heard him gagging since I put his videos on the second monitor. After I saw that, I went back a couple of videos and noticed he had the same mouth there as well. I'm hoping it's not another time he showed up on camera for a week carrying around a second head as an appendix. So I do not have a medical problem at all. I've actually gotten my checkups and I'm totally fine in that regard. So it's not something for anybody to be worrying about. But yeah, I figured I might as well demystify and answer some questions here and just explain what's been going on and kind of, uh, you know, have a little uh, chat, a fireside chat with the audience over here. Probably should have been doing this, you know, just just having the phone pointed up because that would have just been a that would have been more fireside chatty. But that's pretty much what it came down to. Nothing super serious. But yeah. You know, it's just uh, it's just one of those things. Go back to form, and uh, yeah, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And honestly, if you want to, you know, remain in contact and share stuff, and you know, make a request, and you know, bring up something cool for the channel, uh, you know, or some rabbit hole that you want me to cover, it's probably best you go to our actual Reddit r slash some ordinary gamers, because as psychotic and as uh, uh, you know as 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 as, as asylum ridden we are here. Uh, it is an actual, it, it is the one part of the community that I really do enjoy. So if you have any grievances, you have any things you want to bring up, that's probably a place you want to go to, okay? Because it's just a lot, uh, it's a lot more uh, tame, so to speak. Anyways, yeah, I'm out.